welcome so today we're going to discuss how you can make a connection to Excel and how to read data from Excel and also how you can write data into an Excel so these are the topics uh, like you can create an Excel you can enter data you can save Excel you can read Excel and also you can compare Excel sheets you can search an Excel copy one sheet to the other sheet there are all the different methods uh, so we are going to uh, discuss mainly how you are going to create how to save how to read and how to write okay so these are the things that we are going to discuss in today's session so probably I will do one more video compare Excel sheets and search and copy Excel sheets okay Alright, so this is the script. So first, you need, first we are going to look at how you are going to create um, an Excel and how to save. So you are going to create a Excel object. So set, this is the object variable, create object, and this is the class ID, Excel dot application. So once you create Excel object, then you are going to make that object um, Excel visible when you whenever you run the script you see the application opens on your desktop if you make it false then you don't see that but it works on the background and then you can also say you want to add a workbook to the Excel and you're going to save that Excel with some name to the folder and then finally you're going to quit that means you want to close the Excel and also you're going to release the object by release the, by removing the memory occupied by that particular object see basically what happens says this is a good practice whenever you create an object the object will be will occupy certain memory on your system certain space so you are going to remove that you are going to release that memory by saying set object is equal to nothing okay so this is how you create a Excel object make it visible you add workbook save it close application and release that object so let's run this Okay, so now it's trying to create Excel object then it opens that Excel you see the it, it opens the Excel and then you should see it and uh, now it's trying to add that workbook and then finally it closed that Excel okay so that's how like if you go to that particular folder now so you see that Excel is created right so this is the Excel now once that uh, Excel is created you can also do um, I want to write something into that Excel right so let's uh, comment this piece of code now I'm going to unblock this piece of code because I want to write something into this Excel uncomment so what this piece of code is going to do it's going to open the existing Excel again you're creating Excel object then you're going to open the existing Excel and you are also make that Excel visible and now we are going to add um, a sheet so you're going to create a data sheet object by saying data set data set and Excel object is going to contain act workbook and the dot worksheets this is the sheet one and then into this sheet you want to write something right data tape data sheet dot cells one one is the 
first uh, column and first cell right first row and column first row and first column cell again first row and second column second row first column second row second column this way you want to row write the cell data into Excel and you are going to release those objects saying that set data set is equal to nothing and set object Excel is equal to nothing okay so let's uh, maybe let's see you can also debug it so if you want just uh, let's keep a breakpoint here and run it Alright, it's trying to create Excel object and it opens that application. Okay, so it opens the Excel application. Um, uh, now we are going to run, um, say, let's execute line by line. So you press F11 on the keyboard so that it executes line by line. And now it's going to write, even if you look at the, it writes that the grade into first row and first column. and then the next one is the marks right it creates that particular column those are the headers and now you want to write data under those headers so the next one is uh, under grade it is sixth grade and now it's going to write the marks okay it's going to put out 200 this way you can execute line by line also to see what's happening okay so now you see it did all those um, rows there are basically there are two rows so it entered the data and then now it's going to release those objects okay so that's how you can also write data into the database sorry into an excel and also you can read also data from Excel alright that's how actually you can write data into an Excel now we are going to read data so again you are creating an Excel object you are going to open the existing Excel and now you are making that Excel visible and also you are going to create a data sheet object and this time you are going to get how many rows are there in your Excel sheet and also how many columns once you get these rows and columns you can keep that in the loop something for i is equal to one to row this is a nested loop so the outer loop will row, will loop through the number of rows and the inner loop will loop through the number of columns that way you also get um, the row the row and column data using the cell values okay and that way just you can also read it let's uh, run this Okay, so now it's creating that Excel object and it's trying to open that Excel and uh, it makes it visible. Okay, so you got the Excel opened. Now it's trying to read data. Alright, so that is the first cell data. and uh, the next one marks now it's going to read the sixth grade what are the corresponding marks 200 
and uh, the next grade is uh, seventh grade okay so now it's saying the corresponding marks are 150 so this way you can also read the data using this excel okay, so these are the basic operations like what you can do uh, you can create um, and uh, write and read data you can save the excel files so there are the scenarios even sometimes you don't want to import data directly you can also read data into your script without importing into the data table okay but as I mentioned like uh, probably like I'm going to explain in my next videos about uh, how you can compare the sheets and um, how you can search a particular data in your sheet and other things all right thank you thanks for watching this video bye and have a good day